What's up everybody? This is Domingo Chandler Scrounge right here on Team FTK's YouTube channel and today I'm here to do a Yu-Gi-Oh! guest upload as well as showing you guys my Bujin's deck profile. Now before we start, I just want to say we give a shout out and thank you to Jesse Burns from Team FTK for allowing me to do this Yu-Gi-Oh! guest upload as well as just do my Bujin's deck profile. So once so shout out to you Jesse Burns, I want to say thank you for this opportunity for doing the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! guest upload and showing, uh, showing you guys my Bujin's deck profile on Team FTK's channel. So let's so without further ado, let's get this started. So here we go. Right, guys so I'm here to do my Bujins deck profile and I gotta say I love Bujins it's one of my favorite decks I just like the play style I just like how you can go for the first time and get your combos and plays and stuff so I'm going to explain all my card choices so without further ado let's get on with the deck profile so here we go I'm gonna start off with the main deck um for the monsters I play two copies of Bujin Haruko um I play this card too I feel like two is a better number because Three is too bricky, one is not good enough, and I play this card not really because of Pendulum Zone, just using it for the Pendulum Effect. And the Pendulum Effect says you can banish this card in your Pendulum Zone, then target one Bujin XC monster you control, special summon from your extra deck, one Bujin XC monster with a different name. By using that target as an XC material, the special summon is treated as an XC summon. XC material attached is going to become XC material of the summoning monster, so, this, so that's pretty good. Next, I play. Next, I play three copies of Buji Yamato. Yamato's really good because, like I said before, you want to get the first turn Yamato. You always got to play this card at three. And Yamato's effect says once per turn during your end phase, you can add a Buji one Buji monster from your deck to your hand, and then you can send one card from your uh, hand to the graveyard. From, the, from your hand to the graveyard, so that's pretty good as well. Yamato, because you know you want to get all your combos and plays and stuff with your, you know, by getting the first turn Yamato. So you always got to play Yamato at three. Next card I play, I play two copies of uh, Bujin Hyrule. Hyrule is pretty good. I play this card two. I think two is fine as mine because I feel like three is too bricky. One is not good enough. And Hyrule's effect is good. Uh, what it does is uh, cannot be normal summon slash step. Must first be special summon from your hand, but banish one Bujin monster from your gra graveyard. Except Bujin Hyrule. If this card, which it was summoned this way, is destroyed by an opponent's cards by battle by card effect, and sent to the graveyard, sent from your side of the field to the graveyard. You can discard one card from you. While both player has cards in their hand, you can discard one card, and then your opponent can discard one card. So that's pretty good. So it's good to get rid of you know one card from your opponent, and also you gotta you have to get rid of one card for you first, and then get rid of one card for your opponent. So Hyrule is really good. Next, I play one copy of Bujin uh, Makasuchi. Um, one the reason why I play one Makasuchi is because I don't play that many um, Bujins uh, spell and traps. And Mak if you want to know Makasuchi's effect. Um, if a Beast Warrior type Bujin monster you control is destroyed by battle or by card event sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn during the end phase, if a Bujin monster was sent from your hand to the graveyard this turn while you control this face up card, you can add one Bujin uh, spell and tracker for your next your hand. So that's pretty good if you want to add, like, it's also good like, if you want to search for your Bujin Carnation. So that's pretty good. And next, I play one copy of. Bujin Asura. Now, not that many Bujin players don't play this card, but the reason why I play this card at, at one is because I like um, Asura's effect is really good, and the effect says if a Bujin monster in your graveyard or face up in your side of the field is banished, except during the damage, you special summon this card from your hand and face up the defense position. Once per turn during the end phase, if a Bujin card was added from your deck to your hand this turn, except by drawing it, you can while you control this face up card, you can draw one card and then discard one card. So that's pretty good. And at the, and one Asura is enough in my opinion. So it's pretty good. That's it for the Bujins and now for the Bujinsis, I play two copies of Bujinsi Crank. Crank is the one that um uh, like you send this card from your hand to the graveyard, and then if a Beast Warrior type Bujin monster you control battle attacks, um, his attack that Bu that Bujin monster's attack points will original attack points will be double. So Crank is good, not great, but you know it's still good. And two two is better in my opinion because I feel like three is too bricky. Next, I do play and and next I do play one copy of Buji T Turtle, one Buji T Hair Hair, and one Buji Quillen. Now Turtle is the one that um, protects your Buji monster from being targeted by a card or an effect and negate and also negate that. Uh, Hairy is the one 
that um, protects your Buja monsters from being destroyed by um, battle, by card effect, that you get that effect once per turn. And Quillen is the one that has an effect that says if you control a Beast Warrior, um, a Beast Warrior Buja monster, you target one face up card your opponent control and destroy, and you get that effect once per turn. So that's pretty good as well. Play one of each of those. Next, and the last monster I, pl I uh, play in this deck. Three copies of Honest. This card is amazing. This card really is is good for Bujins, and I love the effect of Honest. Like you know, you know during either player's turn, you know you send it, and then your uh, monsters gains attack points. In my opinion, this card is probably better than Crank. In my opinion, because of the effect, because of how good Honest is, this card really helped out Bujins a lot. And I like to play three uh, copies of these. So three Honest is really good. Since, since the Bujin monsters are light attributes, so yeah, that's why I play it at three. So that's it for the monsters. Now we're going to move on to the spells. I play two copies of Bujin Reincarnation. This card is really good. Um, Two is fine in my opinion. I feel like three is way too bricky. Um, its effect says, if your opponent controls a monster, you control no monster. You target one Bujin monster in your graveyard and one of your banished uh, Bujin monsters, especially so in both targets. It cannot be used, it cannot be used as an XE material for an XE summon except... For the XC Summon up a Beast, Beast Warrior on Wind Beast type monster, so it's pretty good. So two two of these is fine, because I feel like three is way too bricky in my opinion. Next I play three copies of Fire Information Tanky. Tanky's pretty good. Of course, you know, when you activate it's because you add a Beast Warrior type monster in your hand. It's good to add your your it's about, it's good to add your your, your motto and your Henry and Makasuchi and stuff like that. Especially your motto, because you want to get the first turn your motto. And Tanky is really good. It does help this guy. So you're gonna play this at three. And next I play and, and speak and next I play three copies of Pot of the Wally. This is a card you also want to play this card at three. Pot of the Wally really helped out this deck a lot. You know, you 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 know you reveal the top three cards from your deck, and you know, and then you just add one, you know, show up the other two to your deck. So it's pretty good. Um, not to and not and and even though it says you cannot special summon the turn you activate this back, because in this deck, um, in Bujins, you don't special summon that much, because you know, like, because you want to make sure you get the first turn your motto and get your combos in place. And that's the reason why I played three copies of Pot of the Wally. It's good to get search for your 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 your, your motto and also if you don't and also for your five formation tanky and then search for the your motto. So the really good card. Next I play um two copies of twin twisters. Uh just for the back row just for the back row removal, the scar card and then you target spell, so it's pretty good. Two copies of twin twisters. And next I also play two copies of very different dimension. Uh, the reason why I play Barrier of Infinite Match is because, uh, I, just because, like, because if you use the effects like cards like Turtle, uh, Harry, Quillen, and, uh, you know, like, because they have their effects when they banish from the graveyard, you can actually use Barrier of Infinite Match to bring, to bring back those cards. And then you could do the whole thing over again. Because remember, Barrier of Infinite Match's effect says it targets up to three, uh, you could target up to three of the three banished monsters and return them to the graveyard. So that means you can recite, so that way you could do, um, the effects of Turtle, the effects of Quillen, and also other stuff as well. And also, you can even banish the if you banish like your Buja monsters from with Hiram's effect, you can bring it back as well. So I like this card is really good for Buja. So that's why I play two of these. I think two is better. Uh, three is too bricky in my opinion. Next and next I play. And as far as the one ups, I do play. Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. Um. The one ups I play uh, one foolish burial, one dark hole, one right Genki, one monster reborn, one soul charge, and the one card destruction to round up the spells. Of course, foolish burial. You know you can send your you know your your turtle, your hiring, your quillin, or and all that stuff as well. Dark hole and right Genki for the uh, monster destruction. Monster Born Soul Charge for your, you know, for your pluses and consistency. And Card Destruction. Now, I play Card Destruction is because, you know, it's, you know, like if you have a bricky hand, this card can help. So, that's why I play Card Destruction. You know, just in case, like if you have a bricky hand, you know, you can just use Card Destruction to, to stop to me. Alright, so that's it for the spells. Now, we're going to move on to the traps. I play two copies of Mirror Force. Two copies of Compulsory Evacuation Device. Two copies of Torrential Tribute, two copies of Balance Trapple, and two copies of Solemn Strike, just to round up the traps. 
So that's it for the main. So that's it for the the main deck. Now we're gonna move on to the extra deck. I played three copies of Bujin uh, Suanua. This is the one. Su Suanua is the one that le that does the multiple attacks on on your opponent's monster, and the other effect says you can detach the from your hand to either um, send one uh, Bujin monster from your deck to the graveyard, or you can add a Bujin card from your Deck to your hand, the Bujin Monster Print Deck. So you can either add a Bujin Monster Print Deck to your hand, or you can send a one Bujin Monster from your deck to the graveyard. So that's pretty cool. So it's either a search or a foolish burial. And like I said before, he uh, he attacks all uh, monsters your opponent controls. Well, the multiple attacks. And so Suanua. Let's play one copy of Bujin T um, uh, Kakasuchi, one Bujin Tinti uh, Tisukunyomi, and one copy of Bujin T Amasua. Um, Kaka, um, Kaka, Kakasuchi is the one that when it's XE summon, you get to send the top five cards from your deck to the graveyard, and then and then it gains 100 attack points if you if, for each Bujin monster that was sent from the um, the top five cards from the deck by this effect. Um, Tsukun Yomi is the one that um, once per turn you can send your entire hand to send your hand from the from your hand to the graveyard. To draw two cards, and then Amasuro is the one that has two effects, so you can either activate the effect to um, um, target a level four, a ba target a banished level four lower monster added to your hand, or you can um, target a level four lower banished monster and special summon it. So that's pretty good as well. And so those, so those are the Bajuzi XC monsters. Now, as far as the other XC monsters, I do play. One copy of Starlight Paladimo because you know the Bujin monsters are light attributes. One copy of Brotherhood of the Fire Tiger King just for the search for the tanky. One copy of Tornado Dragon just for you know for the back row removal. One copy of um, Gagaga Cowboy you know just for the burn to 800 for game and not to mention the whole time rule. And one copy of Diamond Darwolf. Um, I like playing Diamond Darwolf. Diamond Darwolf is pretty good because like if you summon this in a um, the extra monster zone, you could pop itself and then also just, and then go off there. So it's really good. That's it for the that, those are your XCs. Now, as far as links, I do play four. One copy of Hippo Shinigan because like I said, since the Bujin monster is light attribute, so he's pretty good. One copy of Fire Fire Daruma Doll since um your since some of your since the boot since your monsters are beast beast warrior wind beast type monsters, pretty good. One copy of Underclot Taker, so it's pretty good as well. And the last Link monster I play is one copy of Decal Talker, just to round out the extra deck, you know, because I want to play Link 3, so he's, Decal Talker's really good. So, yeah. And that's it for the deck profile, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy my uh, Bujin deck profile. So don't forget, to don't, and guys, don't forget to like this video, share, subscribe, and as well as posting your comments in the comment section below. And tell me what you think about this Yu-Gi-Oh! guest upload, as well as my Bujin Duck profile. And once again, I want to say shout outs and thank you to Jesse Burns from Team FTK for, for this Yu-Gi-Oh! guest upload, allowing me to do my Bujin Duck profile on his channel. And also, guys, if you want to check out my channel, Domingo the Shadow Mr. Alice's channel, I do Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and I also do like non-Yu-Gi-Oh! videos as well, like reaction videos, video games review, and other stuff to come. So that's it for this video, guys. So this is Domingo the Shadow of Strauss. So all I can say is peace out. Have a good day and goodbye, everyone.